Hi everyone, it's Kim with KTB Creates. I hope you are all staying healthy and safe at home and most importantly, keeping your spirits up. I know it's been a difficult time for all of us, but I am so happy to be able to be here and bring you some inspiration and some different ideas to keep your mind busy and happy during this difficult time. Um, I know for me, it's allowed me to spend more time with my family, which is always wonderful, as well as doing some little creative projects around the house that I don't normally have time to get to. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be uh, kind of refreshing my bedroom, and there's a couple different areas in there that I kind of want to redo. And one of them was where I have... Um, a whole bunch of necklaces hanging on a wall with beautiful uh, glass hooks and things like that and I wanted to incorporate something into it that I can use for earrings as well as bracelets and kind of incorporate all my jewelry into that so that's what I'm going to be doing today in this video so now I know you're not going to have all of the pieces but again just for some inspiration and some ideas this is an item that we will be using that I purchased a long time ago at a Goodwill. I'm going to be using this little um, mini ladder frame. So we're going to be taking that apart. But then some items that you probably have around your house that you can um, pull out are a little plastic hanger. So we're going to be doing something with that. Some wine corks. I know you guys are all having fun drinking some wine, so I'm sure you have some of those and um, just an old picture frame. This is an 11 by 14, so you want something a little bit bigger. And um, I'm gonna be using some uh, chicken wire, but you can use any, any sort of mesh. If you have any of those Dollar Tree baskets, you can use that mesh. Or um, if you have burlap and maybe like foam board, you can also create something with that as well. So I'm so excited to get into today's video, but before we do that, if you haven't already, please go ahead and click on that subscribe button and tap that notification bell so that you are reminded every time I upload a new video. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. I love to do all kinds of decor videos, thrift hauls, Dollar Tree videos, and just all kinds of decorating inspiration. So thank you for joining me and let's go on and get into that project. So for the first project, I'm taking this thrift store item that I found and I am just going to take it uh, completely apart. Um, it's more of like a primitive type of a look, so it's not quite my style, um, but I love all the pieces to it, just not all together. <laughs> um, so I'm taking everything apart and I we are going to use the actual mini ladder part of this. Um, and I'm going to update it a little bit with some burnt umber and water and just use it as kind of a stain. Um, it, this was just like a raw wood. It wasn't treated or anything. And I just want it to warm it up a little bit uh, and give it um, just a little bit more uh, color. So that's what I am doing with the burnt umber all over. So this next project is something you could easily do. Um, all you're going to need is a hanger, some twine, and some wine corks. Um, so that twine that I'm using, um, I think I got it at Walmart. So it's a little bit thicker than your regular Dollar Tree twine. Um, you can also use nautical rope. I just didn't have enough to, to wrap the whole hanger. Um, so all I'm doing here is wrapping the twine nice and tightly until you've wrapped your whole hanger. Then I'm going to take a lighter and get rid of all that fuzzy nonsense stuff just to make it look a lot more cleaner. Um, and this really does do the trick. I, I've seen um, Kat from According to Cat do this a million times. So now you're going to need your wine corks. So I just lined up all of my wine corks along the bottom just to make sure that everything fit. I also purchased these little cup hooks from Amazon. I'll leave the link in my description box below. Um, 
And all I'm going to do is apply um, very generously a lot of hot glue. Um, you could see I started out very liberal with it, but I went back in and applied a ton of it. So you're just going to start doing that and gluing the wine corks to the bottom of the hanger. So then once that's all complete, this is what it looks like. And then for the next step, you are going to take your little C hooks. Then for the next step, I am just taking my hot glue gun again, and I am applying a ton of hot glue to the back of it. You could probably use a more permanent glue. Again, I'm always just going the quicker route. So you could probably use E6000 or Gorilla Glue to make it hold even better. But this is nice and sturdy, just the way it is. So next step is to take those little hooks and you're simply going to screw them in to the bottom of the wine corks. And they do screw in very easily. I did apply just a tiny dab of hot glue um, before you twisted it completely in, just so it held a little bit more. And again, it's it's very sturdy when you're when you're complete. So now I'm just marking on the mini ladder where I want it to hang all these little hooks. I'm just trying to figure out the pattern. I do want to hang as many hooks as possible on this because I do have quite a bit of jewelry that I want to hang from it. So obviously you can customize it to your liking and what you want it to do. Um, but I did buy a pack of, I think there were 60 of these hooks in a pack from Amazon and I had just enough. So your next project is gonna be just taking a large picture frame. This is an 11 by 14, and you're just gonna go ahead and remove um, all the stuff that's inside of it. I did decide to use the glass when I was complete. You don't necessarily have to do that, but just take everything out, and then you, you're gonna rip off the back part of it because you're gonna hang this on the wall. And now, because the accents that I'm gonna be using are gold, I'm just gonna go in and paint this frame gold, and I'm just using Folk Art Metallic Pure Gold. It's just something I had on hand. Um, and I'm just gonna go in and paint the edges of the frame in that, and I did have to do two coats of that. Okay, so this next part is I'm just gonna use some um, contact paper that I had on hand that I did purchase at the Dollar Tree. It's kind of that wood, that faux wood look. And I'm just gonna apply some of that to the cardboard that comes in the picture frame. And then I'm going to take my gold metallic paint again and I'm just gonna kind of like lightly brush on the gold paint onto this, just to make it, just to give it a little bit more, uh, I didn't want it to look, you know, as fake as it looks with just the plain contact paper. So I'm just dressing it up a little bit with this gold paint. And it spreads on really nicely on the contact paper. So the next step is to take some of this um, chicken wire and you're gonna cut it to fit properly in this frame. So you want it to fit like right in those little edges so you, obviously you can close the back of the frame. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just cutting it with my wire cutters until I get it to fit right. Now I'm using a combination of Gorilla Glue and hot glue to make this hold in the edges. So this takes a little bit of time. Then once you get that all done, I put my glass back in. You don't have to do this part. If you don't wanna use the glass, you don't have to. You could just put the cardboard piece back in. And then I put my covered um, cardboard back in and then you're all set. You close it back up and you're all good to go. I really love how this display came. Um, now, how I had it prior didn't look bad. Um, these hooks are absolutely beautiful, but it just wasn't efficient enough. Um, you can't really see all the different necklaces that I had. It was hard to get them off. Um, so I will use these hooks somewhere else in my house. Um, but like I said, I'm kind of refreshing my bedroom and I just wanted a little bit of, of a different look that incorporated all of my jewelry. So here is what everything looks like. I'm very excited about how it turned out. Um, this I'm gonna obviously use to hang all of my earrings on. 
and it works out really well as you can see and this little the little mini ladder I just love I love the way it turned out you could put bracelets on it you could rest rings on the on the top of it and then of course hang all of your necklaces on it as well um, and then the hanger piece I used for some shorter necklaces and I love that too so uh, I don't know exactly what my favorite piece is, maybe the mini ladder, um, but you'll have to let me know which one you love down in the comments below. And I hope you really enjoyed this DIY. Don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to my channel so you never miss a new upload. I hope you guys are all having a great week and I will see you soon.